Preview deployments have changed the game when it comes to the collaboration process and software development. You can easily spin up a production-like environment where you can preview your changes before shipping them. Now, one platform that does preview deployments really well is Vercel. You have the seamless experience where you have comments, integrations with issue trackers, and it works great when you're building a website, but what if you're building an application that is backed by a database? Well, you might set up a database that is shared by all previews, but then the database becomes a bottleneck because every time you want to introduce a schema change, the schema change could affect all active previews. And at the same time, if you want to test your schema changes in isolation, well, you're going to have to prevent other developers on your team from also testing their changes. So it's not really ideal. And the alternative where you try to spin up a database automatically for every preview and seed it with random data, well, the environment, the preview environment you'll end up with will not be truly production-like because it doesn't have production-like data. So what's the solution? Well, today I'm going to show you how to provision a database for every preview where each database is isolated and has production-like data. Let's see how we can do it. Postgres on Neon can be branched just like code. You can instantly create isolated copies of your Postgres database where each copy or branch has its own schema and data. Now here I have two branches. I have a main branch, and this is the branch that I'm using in my production deployment. And I have a dev branch that I'm using in local development. Now the added benefit of using a branch for local dev is that this branch has one, its own connection string. So it's completely isolated from the main branch. And this branch has schema and data for me to use. So I actually don't need to have any sort of seed script and it just works. Now, what we want to do is actually create a Neon branch for every Vercel preview deployment. And to do that, I'm going to use the Neon integration that's on Vercel. And to set it up, all I need to do is go to the integrations page, choose the Vercel integration. And as you can see, connect your Vercel project to a Neon database and enable creating a branch for each preview deployment. So I'll click add. And here we can see details about the integration. We can see that it sets the necessary environment variables in the Vercel project, as well as create a database branch in Neon for every GitHub branch associated with a Vercel deployment preview. So once we open a pull request, we will have a Neon branch that is associated with this pull request that we can use for the preview deployment. And all we need to do is just click on Add from Vercel. This will take us to the integrations marketplace. I can click add integration, choose a Vercel account to install the integration to. I'll choose my own one and I'll choose a specific project, this project, and I'll click install. And now I'm configuring the integration like on the Neon side. So one, I need to select a Vercel project to add the integration to. I only have one, so I'll choose it. I'll click continue. And here I'm configuring the connection string that will be used for my production deployment. Now I already had a database URL environment variable that I set previously on Vercel, and I removed it before actually starting the setup of this integration so that the integration can set the environment variable for me. And here I can specify which database and which role to use. And optionally, I can also create a branch for the development environment, but I already have one. So I'm just going to uncheck this box and click continue. Now here you can see that the integration sets two environment variables, a database URL, and this database URL is the pooled connection. So this connection supports up to 10,000 simultaneous connections. So you never have to worry about running out of connections when deploying your serverless apps on Vercel. And we also are providing the unpooled version of the connection string. And all you need to do now is you just click connect and we're done. So yeah, like right now, actually, if I go back to the Neon console and I refresh, I'll actually be able to manage the Vercel integration so I can click manage. And here you can just tweak it uh, to your liking. So which branch is used uh, for production, you have settings regarding which environment variables are set and the default database enroll. And if you want to remove the integration, you can just disconnect it, which is convenient. Now let's actually see what the workflow looks like. So here I have an app that's deployed to Vercel, and it is a Next.js app that is just fetching data from a Neon database using Prisma, and I'm just rendering the result. So if I go to my project and go to my schema.prisma file, 
you'll see that I have a single table called element where each element has an ID, a name, a number, and a symbol. Now, let's say that I want to, you know, modify this database schema, add a new column, and modify my UI. So what I'll do is actually just create a new Git branch, and let's say, call it like, add a new atomic mass column. Let's say I want to add that, and I'll add this field here and thank you copilot and it will have a default value of zero because i already have existing data in my database and now what i'll do is actually generate the migrations for my database and apply them to my neon development branch and i already added the connection string to my env file so all i need to do is just do mpx prisma migrate dev and after a moment what will happen is Prisma will ask me to name my migration, and if everything works as expected, the migrations will be applied, and then I can just test my changes and see if everything works as expected. And what will happen is we'll just get a new folder here with our migrations, and yeah, then we'll be able to apply them to a Neon branch whenever we create a new preview. So I'll just give it a second, and yeah, let's give it a name. Let's call it add new column and the migration was applied so now we see that we have the migrations file here and let's say now i want to modify my ui to actually display it so actually if i do npm run dev and go to localhost 3000 you'll see that we already have like the same like UI because again, the branch has the same schema and data. And now if we actually go back and go to the page and let's say I wanna add here and I want to add, yeah, the atomic mass. So we still have autocomplete, which is very cool. And I'll save and I go here to my editor and I see this value here. I'm happy with my changes. So you know what, I'm happy. Let me just, um, you know, commit everything and I'll just, like, let's do commit and let's say um, add new column and let's push and set the upstream and then we'll open a new pull request. So let's go here and I'm going to create a new pull request and I'll just create it. Now, what will happen is a preview deployment will be created by Vercel. And along with this preview deployment, we'll have a Neon branch. Now, since our migrations are tracked in code, what we'll do is actually apply any pending database migrations to the newly created Neon branch. So right now we see actually the preview was deployed and I can visit it and it's authenticating and it's still building. So actually, if we go to the project settings here I'm in the settings the and then the like build and deployment settings section and you'll see that I actually modified the build command to run npx prisma migrate deploy so this is the command that you use to apply the database migrations to your production database and then I'm just generating um, prisma client and then I'm running my regular build so this way what we just did is I tested my changes in isolation using a neon branch I pushed my changes to GitHub and created a pull request. A preview deployment was created for me, and I just applied the database migrations that are found in my pull request to the newly created Neon branch. And this way, I each preview deployment has its own isolated database with schema and data. So now it should be ready. And you see that it's ready. And if we refresh, we have this. This is live, like this is a preview deployment. We get the Vercel toolbar toolbar and it just works, which is great. So now when we actually merge the pull request, what will happen is again, there will be the project's build step. And before that, we're just gonna apply the schema migrations that are found in code. Now, if we go back to Vercel, we'll actually be able to see the environment variables being set for us. So if I go to settings, environment variables, and I scroll down, you'll see that the connection string was set for me for this preview deployment 
which is awesome. And that's it. This is how you can have a database for every preview where each database is isolated and has both the schema and data so that you have truly production-like preview environments. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or reach out to us in the Neon Discord community. We'd love to hear from you. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.